say, how do you feel about a pink alligator? I thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush, green forest, but he turns out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day, he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day, the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So, what do you think? Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime. Senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? Think she'll be mad if she finds out? I kind of doubt it. But I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata Senpai? I'd like to ask for some help with this question. Oh, uh, wait, Jimpikun. I wanted to ask you. Uh, um. I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! We'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, amata -kun. Hmm? Oh, uh, I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you to Mitsuru-senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit-chat, but I just wanted to spend time with everyone. Um, this was actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. <sighs> hey, you shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. It's just... when I think this might be the last... Um, in any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. <sighs> Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi, I feel the same way you do. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, 
Studying's the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru-senpai, could you help me with this? <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? we've been studying. Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. You think so? I hope everyone else feels the same way. By the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Come on, everyone, let's go. That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams. to the shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. Aww, you gonna miss me? It's fine, just go on ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Got some uh, takoyaki. This one's for you. 
Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. Just messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Thanks. It's still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you, and you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but I didn't know what I did wrong? I, uh, think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me for a long time. I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. The other day, when everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said, it put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Hey, come on, eat up. Don't want cold takoyaki, do you? Woohoo, that was tasty. And it's not too bad cold either. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet? I hear you. It's a hell of a decision to make. Look, man, me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff, but whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've always been jealous of you. You're a special dude. And everyone's always counting on you. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Besides, Forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? Uh, I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It'd suck to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader? Yes. 
You were actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. Not that it'd matter, anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. And a kid, too. Sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on. Make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor, or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel, I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Lucky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge considering their numbers. Are you alright? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. G got it! Come on, it's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. They're hand wraps, mainly for protecting my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today, it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger, too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, do you think I'm strong enough now? You're totally right. I'm sure I'll find my answer soon enough. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. It's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. Oh, 
<laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who was there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. Oh, that. I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future's gonna turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end, it's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal, but this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> I did it, Miki. <laughs> if you say so, I'll keep fighting like I'm up for a shot at the title belt. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now, either. Ah, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine, but you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, oh, are you feeling lonely? 
Hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness. But maybe... You know... When I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know?
been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Thank you. 